Sophia here, Psychic Tarot Reader, Personal Mentor. Welcome back to my channel, Sophia Psychic Tarot. So today's pick a card reading is for the week ahead. We have three piles, one, two and three, and we will be looking at love, work, finances and any other messages that come through. The timestamps for these piles are in the description box beneath the video. For my lovelies who chose pile number one, let's have a look at the week ahead for you. Let's move that out of the way. So let's start with love. So for the viewer who chose part number one, what does the week ahead hold regarding their love life? So we have the feeling a little bit anxious. You may be feeling a little bit battered and bruised as well. But be strong, okay? Be strong, go forward fearlessly, however sort of bruised you feel or battered, okay, or anxious, just have that strength and courage to go forward fearlessly. And then you will have your victory. Beautiful. So if you are feeling anxious, a little bit on your guard, battered and bruised because he's got a bandage around his head. Okay, sometimes sort of how many more times do I have to go through this? You know, you've defeated all these eight. You've got one more here. Okay, just be strong. Don't think of it like that. Just be strong. Go forward fearlessly. Have the courage and strength to go forward fearlessly. You know what? I can get through this. I can do this. And the victory and success will be yours. Especially if it's to do, you know, with a new relationship or whatever relationship, okay, it's the lovers. So if you're feeling anxious about this, you know, know that the connection is there. Your person is yours for as long as you desire them for. They're not going anywhere, even if they're not in your current 3D reality, okay, your connection is still there. You're still attaching your energies to them, so they're still your person. So conjure them up. OK, like this page, she is an apprentice. She is practicing the art of her magic to bring in the security she wants in her life. OK, she's got her potions, magic spells around her belt. She's practicing here. So be strong and continue creating what you do want to be seeing in your life. And the victory card. Don't doubt yourself. Don't have, let your fears and insecurities come in here. Um, yeah, all your emotions getting in the way. Okay, you can have your beautiful Ace of Cups, your new start, your beginnings with this victory card. You can have all of this, but you're just letting your sort of fears and doubts creep in here. Let go of that, okay? Let's pull in a Romance Angel. OK, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now and sooner rather than later, because the sooner you get over your anxiety or your fears or doubts or insecurities or feeling that things are battle or hard work. OK, and just knowing that that loving connection is there, whether you are with your person or not, OK, or whether you're just looking for love, be strong, keep conjuring up practice conjuring up what you do want those feelings of if you were with your person or if your life was how you wanted it to be then you can get your victory and success your cup will overflow but you need to clearly decide what you want why you want it and then it will come to you the how and the when don't worry about the how and the when okay just keep your eyes on your target of what you do want to be seeing in your life so let's have a little look at work or whatever you do during the day, okay, basically this means. So we have the Two of Cups. So it could be something you are doing that you love doing, or want to be doing that you love or will enjoy. It may be something you're doing with your partner, a romantic connection or family members. 
okay but with the queen of swords you know she is a determined lady she's the determined queen she doesn't take any bs she cuts out with her swords you're being negative don't like it okay not having it you're not reacting you're creating in your mind what you do want to be seen so you know any thoughts that you're having that are negative or opposing thoughts to what you do want to be seen in your life cut them out you can have something that you love or enjoy doing here okay don't get stressed just focus on the wealth and abundance or the finances the financial things that you do want to be seeing um don't get stressed here Focus, go within and really think, you know, what is it I want to do that I'm going to love and enjoy doing? Sorry if you can hear the rain against the window. So celebrate, okay, celebrate what it is that you do want to be seeing in your everyday life, work life, school, whatever you're doing, okay? As if you already have it. Okay, and then there's something, you know, what you're passionate about will come to you. Or go in search or go down the path of, yeah, I, this is what I want to do in the day. Like I did with my business, okay, the YouTube channel and that. Yes, I want to help lots of people. I want to be able to help people turn their lives around. Okay, so I was very passionate about that. So that's what the path I took. I was passionate, so I made it happen. Okay, don't let your devil lower energy negative people around you. Remember the Queen of Swords. I'm not listening. Okay, this is what I want. This is what I'm passionate about. Even if you say wanted to be a doctor and your family is like, don't be stupid. You can never be a doctor or what do you think you're doing? Or you want to be a musician or an artist or whatever. Okay, if people are around you saying, don't be stupid, you can't have that. Or what do you think you're doing? Don't ask their permission. It's your reality. It's your life. Okay, go after what you're passionate about. Even if you're telling yourself your own self-doubts and insecurities and fears, cut them out. You're the Queen of Swords. You can have whatever you want in your life. And again, the King of Swords, cut it out. Cut out the things that are not serving you. Let's go to one of these. Um, what do you need to release? Yes, definitely. What do you need to release? These negative or opposing thoughts, the opposite thoughts of what you do want to be seeing. I never have a decent job. I'm not valued. I'm not respected. You know what? Yes, I am respected. I am valued. Everybody is so helpful and kind at work. Okay, change it to what you do want to be seeing. The opposite of what you are thinking now to what you do want to be seeing. Go forward if you are passionate about it. Right, let's have a look at finances for the week ahead. Okay, Ten of Swords, you may be feeling a little bit stuck, disappointed, feeling stabbed in the back. But again, the thoughts are your mental energies your mental thoughts okay so perhaps again you're pinning yourself down with your own opposing negative thoughts here i'm not good enough to have what i want or i never have any money yes i do have money i am wealthy and abundant money continuously flows to me people love giving me money i'm rich okay tell yourself the opposite think about what you want what would your life be like if you had lots of money? If you had the thing that you're wanting to spend that money on? Whatever it is in your finances that you're feeling disappointed about or let down or stuck in your negative thinking about money, change it to what you do want to be seeing, my lovelies. Okay, again, like the King of Sword, cut out those opposing negative things that you are telling yourself. You may have been let down regarding something you want and there is this physical king of swords around you who's someone who doesn't seem to be 
um, being very forthright in helping you. They will be, okay? Don't sit there letting your emotions come in here. Okay, fuck my life, nothing's working out. What is it you want? What is it you wanted? Stay on track. Don't feel stuck with this Ten of Swords energy. Um, let's come to one of these. Yeah, break free, okay? Try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn. Be empowered, knowing that you are powerful. So let's look at overall messages for the week. So let's bring in Archangel Michael. So we have the person you're asking about is trustworthy, whether that is lover, family, friends, work colleagues or whatever. Thank you for helping me have faith so I can open my heart wider in my relationships. Relationships are with family and friends as well as a lover. I am grateful for your protection, ensuring that only trustworthy people are in my life. And travel. You may have some travel. An upcoming trip proves to be life-changing in positive ways. Um, message. There may be somebody you have to contact or email in whatever area of your life. It may be that you are going to receive the news that you wanted to receive in whatever area it is. There is a new chapter in your life coming in here. There is a new cycle. Okay, so even if it's not physical travel, it could be just traveling into, yes, this is what I want, okay? If somebody said to you, how is your life? You know, how is your life like? Love life, yeah, it's brilliant. As if you already have that, okay? What's your work life like? Oh, I've got an amazing job. You know, I'm really respected and valued. What's your money like? Oh, I've got loads of money, I'm rich, okay? What is it you want to be seeing and not what you don't? Overall message, par number one for the week ahead. Okay, extremes. Sometimes we have to go to extremes and step out of our comfort zone. Remember this, break free. Okay, this cloud is always like an angel to me. Break free, you're being guided, okay? Spirit is never against you. They're trying to help you have what you want in your life. So try different ventures and experiences as a way to go so that you can have your new beginnings. Okay, clearly decide what it is you want in your life and why you want it in your life or that person in your life. Step out of your comfort zone. Go into the extremes. Do Take steps, okay? Remember what you're passionate about. Go forward what lights you up and not what lights other people up. It's your 3D reality. I will leave this with you. I hope it helps. Have a lovely week. Love and light. For my lovelies who chose part number two, let's have a look at the week ahead for you. So let's start with love. Love, relationships, even if it's just with family and friends. Okay, so it could be, we have the Page of Cups, so for me that is on this card, a physical child as well, as believing, okay? So I'm just going to pull out some more. We have disagreements, arguments, rows, disputes. Three of Swords and the King of Swords. Okay, so we may have some arguments between you and your partner or the father of your children. For those of you who have children, there could be some disputes, little rows. There could be some, you know, bit of sorrow here, heartache or 
separations, something involving children. Now, for others of you, this can be believing, like children do in things when they're little. You know, they make believe, okay? They have that faith and belief that everything is real. Father Christmas, Tooth Fairy, etc. So have faith and trust is what they're also saying for some of you. Stop reacting by reacting to what is in your 3D at the moment. Your current 3D is what you've already, it's what you're keeping in place with your dominant thoughts. So if you are clashing with somebody or somebody has blocked you and he's not coming forward or whatever, okay, and you're in this Three of Swords energy and you're rowing, you're reacting, stop it, okay? Have faith and believe like a child does that everything in my life is going to be fine. My person is my person. Everyone is you pushed out based on your thoughts and assumptions about them. And I have a video in the Get Them Back playlist to help you with that as well. So let's clarify a bit more the Page of Cups. Okay, we've got the Page of Wands. So it may be some news you receive as well. But again, you know, stop being so, stop reacting. When you react, it goes tits up. It's short-lived. When you create in your mind what you do want to be having, you can get what you want. Okay, so whatever you're passionate about, don't react. It's only going to cause rows. Just believe in what you want, okay, and see it as already being done. You know, move into the next cycle. Move your life forward with the Wheel of Fortune, you know. Move it into the next cycle. Stop replaying the same movie over and over call in what it is that you want call in what it is if you are separated from somebody okay and they're blocking you you are the person who wields the magic wand for your happiness and this is what you know i do in my mentoring as well so call in your person with your thoughts with your creating your thoughts let's have a look at Romance, angels. Unrequited love and free yourself. So it may be that some of you have come to the end of a relationship. You really can't stand your person anymore. You want to move on and free yourself. But for others of you, if you are just assuming that because you haven't heard from your person, they blocked you and you're in this heartache or whatever, okay, or a third party situation... My person doesn't want to be within me anymore. You're telling yourself a story that you don't know is a fact. Okay, so free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Stop putting your person on a pedestal. All of the videos that will help you are in the Get Them Back playlist if that scenario without the children one is what you are thinking. It will help you, okay? So let's look at um, your everyday life, whether it is work, school, studying whatever you do in the day um too many fell on the floor let's go without them spirits saying okay so queen of swords here now this queen of swords she's a determined queen she doesn't put up with any bs okay she knows what she wants she's gonna get it whatever it takes she cuts out her negative thinking her opposing thoughts to what she does want to be seen no you know i'm not having it this is what i want in my life she doesn't listen to negative people around her she knows what she wants she's determined okay king of wands here you know the two things spirit are saying you know what are you passionate about what is it you want to be doing don't let pride get in the way but also you may have a boss who is very kind, but there is something that you feel that they are holding something back from you or not valuing you or respecting you or whatever, okay? But that's just what you're telling yourself. Change it. Everyone is you pushed out. And Two of Swords, you know, she sat here with the blindfold on. She's, if she took the blindfold off and turned around, she'd see the beautiful sun behind her. You know, it's like these crows are saying, you know, what are you doing? You're just trapping yourself. So look at what you're...
telling yourself because you know what is it you're passionate about but also if it is regarding a boss or a family member or whatever it is during the day and there's a man involved they are very passionate about what they do they're passionate okay so it looks like pride gets in their way or that they're being stubborn but they're not okay it's just you with your thoughts so look at the thoughts you're telling yourself Yeah, get that balance here. Okay, Be balance in your thoughts and feelings. Take off that blindfold. See the bigger picture. Of what you do want. Sorry, that's too many in my hand then. I like to leave one in my hand like that. Okay, stop pinning yourself down with your negative thoughts or opposing thoughts, the opposite of what you do want to be seeing. Okay, um, the swords are your mental energy so get that balance you know stop thinking that you can't have what you want be like the queen of swords not putting up with it you know silly negative talk that you're telling yourself i'm not respected i'm not valued i'll never get that promotion i'll never pass that exam or whatever okay if you want victory and success then cut out those thoughts stop pinning yourself down with past disappointments I'm not interested in those this is what i want this is what i'm going for let's have a look at these I am good enough I am worthy I am respected I am valued okay the answers you need are coming so believe in yourself and the answers will come to you let's look at finances for the week ahead Okay, stuck choosing which path do I take? Do I go into these black hills or do I go to the sunny plains where it's warm and inviting? Okay. Are you going to make it a struggle or are you going to make it smooth? Don't let your emotions get in the way. You've got em choices to make. You've got choices to make. Which way do I go? Am I going to make it hard for myself and struggle or am I going to make it easy? Your thoughts create, remember. Sorry about the rain, if you can hear the rain. Again, be the queen of swords. Cut out the negative talk you're telling yourself. She doesn't put up with any crap. I'm not having it. This isn't what I want to be seeing. I'm rich. I've got lots of money. People give me money all the time. Money constantly flows into my bank account. I'm wealthy, abundant, financially secure. Change the thoughts that you're telling yourself, that you're playing on a loop into what you do want to be seeing in your life. Okay, don't sit there. Fuck my life. Okay, pour in your emotions. Letting your emotions get the better of you here. Okay, be the queen of swords determined cutting out negative people around negative thoughts not fuck my life and drowning in my emotions let's pull in one of these Ooh. have faith your prayers are manifesting remain positive follow your guidance the queen of swords is very positive Okay, she's not letting her emotions, drowning in her emotions. So finances, really decide what it is that you want and why you want it. Don't let your emotions or your negative thoughts come in here. Have faith, remain positive, follow your guidance. So let's look at overall message for the week number two. Okay, you created this situation and you have the power to change it. Our thoughts create... You've created your current 3D with your thoughts. So thank you for letting me lean on your strength and for reminding me of my personal power. Please guide me to manifest and heal according to divine will, creating peace and blessings for everyone involved. You decide to be happy. You have the power to change your life to what you do want to be seen and not what you don't. Okay, easy does it. Stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open for you. 
and be yourself. This situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is the basis for your personal power. Okay, we have message, funny enough, this came out in pile number one as well. Is there anybody you need to communicate with to get something done? Not out of desperation or fear or lack or insecurity, you know, if it feels inspired to do it. Okay, you're feeling in a good, natural place to do it. It feels natural to do it. Is there anybody you've got to chase up that perhaps owes you money or something you've got to do that you've been putting off? Okay, communication. Perhaps you're going to hear some news this week. Okay, something is, you know, just because you can't see beneath the surface here in the water, when we look at the lake or the sea, we can't see beneath the surface, but there's life beneath the surface. Things are going on just because you can't see it yet. Your thoughts are constantly creating. So something is going to be revealed to you that you can't yet see. And it could be in the way of news coming to you. So don't think that you know you've created this situation and you have the power to change it change your thoughts be the queen of swords not fuck my life you know what i'm not putting up with any bs you opposing thoughts get out of my head this is what i want free yourself okay stop trying to control everything well how is this going to happen when is this going to happen no this is what i want why do i want it for this reason it's going to come to me be yourself do things for you okay you will receive the news you you want Okay, you're just letting your fears, doubts and insecurities hold you back. Overcome your fears and doubts. Let's read out that one because they wanted me to do it. What number is it? Number 11, there you go. The time for courage is here. Fear is only useful if it teaches you something. You must examine whether your fears are old or new, useful or unhelpful. Fear blocks flow, okay? And the little saying is, I am courageous. So you can have whatever you want. Stop trying to control this. Stop letting your fears and emotions fuck my life, okay? You can have whatever you want if you have faith because everything is always happening. Your thoughts are constantly creating. So whatever you are thinking is happening behind the scenes, whether it is positive or negative. So look at the thoughts you're telling yourself. Are you going to choose the path that's going to make it difficult for you or are you going to make it smooth sailing? I will leave this with you, my lovelies, love and light. For my lovelies who chose pile number three, let's have a look at the week ahead for you. It is raining quite hard here, so you might hear the rain against the window. So, for my lovelies who chose pile number three, what does the week ahead hold for them in love? Strength, brows, new begins, new follow your intuition. Okay. So be strong. Don't react to things in your 3D. If something comes up in your 3D, don't react. Create. We're creators, not reactors. Okay. If you react, it'll probably end up in a row. Even if you're having just self-talk that you're rowing with somebody in your head, you're having that negative talk, be strong, okay? You can have, you know, your new beginning, your new start is on its way. Just keep following your intuition. So let's bring in some more cards to go a bit deeper. So let's clarify strength. Um, yeah, take control of that chariot, okay? Um, the horses, they're not horses on this one, they're dragons, but they usually pull in different directions. That's your thoughts, okay, as well, being pulled in different directions. Like, you know, the little angel on your shoulder and the devil on your shoulder. Yes, we can have this. No, you can't. Yes, my person loves me. No, they don't. Okay, take control of your thoughts. Be strong here. 
okay make those decisions that are going to lead you to what you do want to be seeing in your life okay cut out any fear or drama or insecurities doubts okay the king of swords he doesn't put up with any crap if you feel that your person's being stubborn, they're blocking you, they're not doing what you want them to, don't react. It'll only end up in a row, okay? Just remember, everyone is you pushed out. You know what? My person worships the ground I walk on. They love me. They adore me. They spoil me. They contact me all the time. My person does exactly as I want them to do. They're very loving, okay? Whatever, okay? Yeah, what is it, again, the high priestess like here you know she knows what she wants she's determined look at their faces we know what we want it's our life it's our reality they're not putting up with any crap they know what they want so what is it you want and you can have it stop remaining in the dark clouds that are there okay Stop struggling with things and letting your doubts come in. Take charge. Be strong. Go forward fearlessly. Don't react. No point reacting. It's short-lived. Be the creator of what you do want to be seen in your relationships. Okay, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take with your intuition. What is your heart telling you? Not your logical naysaying mind okay no you can't have that your person doesn't love you your person is an ass or whatever okay <laughs> whatever it is that you do want to be seeing make the effort but not reacting just creating so let's look at what you do in the day work school whatever Okay, the Queen of Rods. Now, she's a very passionate lady. She's very nurturing. She's very passionate. Okay, so it could be something to do with your mother. It could be something to do with a female boss. It could be you just being passionate about what it is that you want to be doing during the day, your work. Not being in the tower. There may need to be a tower moment. You may be in a job that you're not passionate about. You may have taken a course or be doing something that you're not really enjoying doing. So a tower moment may come in to make you realise that what you thought was okay isn't. Like the man who built his house on sand. It was washed away so that he could either walk away or build it on a more solid foundation. What is it you want to be doing? What is going to make you passionate? You may have a clash with somebody this week who is female. But it's happened for a reason to make things better. Or to make you have a aha moment. Okay, don't feel that it's making you insecure or people aren't listening. If you feel that perhaps a teacher or a boss or colleagues aren't listening to you or a partner then in your mind start saying you know what yes they value me they respect me i am good enough i am worthy enough okay start feeling what you really want to be seeing here yeah not like this queen she's come out in every pile this one you know, letting your emotions get the better of you. Fuck my life. You know, I'm just going to pour my emotions down the drain. Be like this. Okay, no. Don't feel like that. You create your reality. So change it to what you do want to be seeing. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. Okay, yeah, with the five of cups, you know, you're looking at the spilt milk. So there could be something that comes up this week that you feel really is hopeless and desperate and it's all gone tits up. No, okay, just really focus on what you're passionate about. You know, for example, when I lost a job, it happened suddenly, it happened out of the blue, but I stayed firm in my beliefs of, yeah, I've got money, I am rich, I've got this. I'm going to get something better, okay, and it all worked out beautifully. If I had gone into my feeling insecure, fuck my life, and really 
crying over spilt milk and not turning around and seeing what I was passionate about, my YouTube channel and my mentoring wouldn't be what it is today. Okay, I remained faithful to what I did want to be seeing in my life and not reacting to things in my 3D. Okay, yeah, carry on learning and carry on believing. Perhaps it's happened to make you go into something where you're going to study and learn something new to help you earn more money in the future. Okay, what are you passionate about? What do you passionately want to go after that's going to make you feel fulfilled? Even if it's nothing that you can have this week. If a tower moment happens, don't go into the negatives. Think of it as a positive. It's happened for a reason to make your life to be built on a more solid foundation. The energy is gaining momentum. Keep going. Let's look at finances. Feeling a bit pressured, you may have responsibilities, you may feel pressured, you may feel burdened, okay, um, but it's a 10, so they can't last, you know, the pressures and burdens can't last forever. Again, what is it you love to do? You've got choices, the lovers, what is it you are wanting? Is it something you're wanting to do? that needs spending money on, then think of it as already being done. You've already got the money to do that. How would you feel if you were already sitting in your brand new car, living in your beautiful house, um, having your perfect job or whatever it is, okay? Don't pressure, weigh yourself down with opposing thoughts. What is it you want? If you're feeling pressured by others, remember your outside world is a mirror of your inner world. So what story are you telling yourself that you keep holding in place that you keep experiencing okay again what are you passionate about what is it that lights you up what is it you want so that you can attract it to you quickly Yeah, so that new opportunities and new things can come to you. Be fearless, okay? The Two of Swords is normally a stalemate situation, but she is active here. She can't see what is around her. She is not facing her worst nightmare. She's not focused on it, on it fuck my life okay she is yeah whatever bring it on I am fighting my fears I am fighting my insecurities I am knowing that my life is not going to be a stalemate situation I am going to fight off the negatives these horrible dragons that are trying to control her and get her she is although she's blindfolded she is believing in what she wants before she sees it um, let's bring in one of these. Know that you're good enough and know that you're worthy. Know that you're valued and respected. Know that you deserve to receive good in all ways. So general message for the week. Archangel Michael message for viewers number three. Eternal love. Help me perceive all the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe receiving, expressing and giving love. Open your heart to love, joy and peace. And you will receive love, joy and peace back. But be patient. That's the one big doggy doo doos that trips us up. What you're asking for is coming. Have patience as there are unseen factors that need to occur first. Okay. 
Don't feel pressured. Don't react. Just be strong. Follow your intuition. Yes, that is mine. Take control of the reins. Make the effort. If something goes tits up this week, don't go into a negative rabbit hole slough, okay? No, I know I'm good enough. I know I'm worthy enough. This is what I want. I know it might not happen overnight. Rome wasn't built in a day, but this is what I am transforming into my life because this is what I want to be seeing in my life. This is the life I want to be having. You can have, be and do anything you want in your life. Okay, change is coming, but you need to make those changes within as well in the dominant thoughts you are having, the opposing thoughts that are stopping you from having what you want. I never have any money. Yes, I have lots of money. My job is crap. My job is wonderful. I have an amazing job. I'm valued, respected. My boss absolutely dotes on me. My person isn't with me. My person loves me, adores me. Okay. Change into, the, move into the next cycle of your life. Come on, you've got to make these changes. It's not going to happen overnight, but let's start changing your life for the better. Okay, acceptance. Accept help from others. Accept help from those who want to help you, who have your back. Okay, but accept help from the universe as well. Acceptance of the current situation is the first step to change. Okay, I accept this in my life, especially if a tower moment comes in. I accept that, okay, I was stuck in a rut or I had lots of negative thoughts or opposing thoughts to what I want. I accept this change, okay? The past does not exist. The future hasn't happened. There is only right now. I accept where I am and who I am. But where do you want to be going? Let's make those changes, okay? Accept things in your 3D, which you've already created, and start shifting into what you do want to be seeing, knowing that you're good enough, fighting off your demons, and negative people around you and your negative opposing thoughts okay i will leave this with you love and light